Welcome back, brats. I am Jay Brat, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna try something I've been wanting to try for quite a while. We are gonna tweak the PSVR to see how close to 360 tracking we can get. So first of all, I did buy this off Amazon. This is a camera extension cable. It's from SparkFox. I will leave a link to that in the description. I'm not affiliated with them in any way making any profit off this. It's just uh, something that I really wanted to try out. And this was one of the only cables that people had said actually worked. There were a few reviews where people said it didn't work, just as a disclaimer. Maybe some of them aren't as great, but uh, we're gonna test this one out. Hopefully it works well, and we're gonna see what we can do with some tracking in a couple different games. So let's go check it out. Okay, Brad, so far we are in, and I am feeling more optimistic probably than I should be about this, because so far we've got close to a full spin here, and obviously there will be some occlusion if we're down working on something down here. So we're going to see how this goes. The first game I chose to get into is Brookhaven Experiment because it's a shooter where you're mostly holding your guns out in front of you. It's a wave shooter, so that may be kind of the perfect fit for trying this. Whew, that was loud. Okay, we're going to go back into Brookhaven Experiment. I haven't played this in a while. Ooh, that loud. We're going to see... What this is like. We're going to start. The first level is a band factory. It's nice and well lit, so it'll be easy to see. We're going to go back there. So I'm going to try not to use the buttons at all to turn, and I'm going to try to only turn physically. Rama, this is Kali. Maintain radio silence and look out for hostiles. Always check your six. Over. I've got to say, so far, I'm pretty surprised. I your expected the headset the to be wobbling machine. really bad. Because of the angle that the camera's at. To get the job done. I've got reports of a large herd of hostiles in and your So area. far, I feel pretty good. You do have to be kind of particular about not getting your knife over. down here, keeping it up here, obviously. But this is not, as long as you're I keeping your arms out, like if this was a wave shooter where you had two guns, I don't think I would have any problems with this. I hope that gun of yours is loaded. It is loaded. But I'll reload it. I'm gonna try and let one get close to me and kinda experience what the knife is like with this. <laughs> it works. You do notice, obviously, you get your hands down here and it loses it. But I'm surprised at how well this is working. As long as you keep moving, that tracker will let me know you're still on. And I'm still, I'm playing PS4. I'm in the habit of keeping my legs planted. I mean, I could be turning totally around here. I haven't played that in a while. That one, that one got me a little bit. Is there no way to quit until I'm through this? I should have probably gotten the flashlight because this is going to be a hectic level like this. Only if the equipment has had a chance to succeed or fail. Do they come? Lady, you are strange. It's 
So I wouldn't say with Brookhaven it's a great experiment, but I would say it's definitely much better. Boy, I wish I had a flare. This is actually kind of freaky not having one. <laughs> because I just know some spiders or something are going to start sneaking up on me from down here. definitely have to be kind of aware whenever you turn back to keep your hands up higher. so used to keeping my feet planted that I can't get used to actually trying to physically turn around. I was like, I know this level's got to be almost, this wave's got to be over. Or something sneaking up behind me that I can't hear. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Brookhaven, this is not bad. If it wasn't for the flashlight and the knife that I'm holding down and kind of at this angle more, I feel like I would hardly notice that, that I'm using of PSVR right now because I, I seriously am pretty close to 360 tracking. All right, so let's switch games. I wanna try maybe something like Job Simulator where you gotta be reaching down. I'll look through some games, I'll get back to you. All right, we are going into To The Top, checking it out in here. So The Top was a game that you're moving fast and you're wanting to be able to quickly turn and grab things and it always bugged me the turning stuff. They, they set it in some good ways. So one way, in case you haven't played it, you hold the thumb button, you kind of turn, so you like kind of reach and grab. But it can be distracting and it can slow you down. So what I want to see is what it would be like being able to fully turn. And if it's still going to work with the camera there, am I going to find problems once I get back here? The thing is, a lot of the PSVR games, the newer ones, they do this. So they are telling you right now, hey, you're facing the wrong way. You can obviously override this one, but like Apex Construct is one I was thinking would be fun to try. But it puts like a big block here that kind of tells you, hey, you can't do this. So we're going to try a level and see what it's like. Level start. And I have not played this in a while, so forgive me. <laughs> Okay, it's coming back. So we're going to try and play a level without using the turn buttons at all and seeing if this makes it any easier. And to the top, if you haven't played it, it has a great soundtrack and the music is a lot of fun while you're playing, but everything I've been playing lately... Oh, don't turn, don't turn. Everything I've been playing lately has kind of been getting claimed, so I'm trying to at least play one thing where I'm not going to get claimed on copyrights. Nope. Okay. I just need to be patient. So this feels really good, although I know from keeping my own bearings, I have not turned fully backward yet. And it doesn't look like I'll have to the way this level is designed, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely turn and try to play this some and see how this feels. And because I'm keeping my hands so far out in front of me, this is actually working quite well, even though I know I'm facing pretty much the wrong direction here. 
So a game like this, or a game like Windlands, where you're keeping your hands aimed up a lot and moving forward, would actually probably be a lot more fun with this tracking method. No, no, no. There we go. So I'm not setting any records, obviously, as I haven't played this in a long time. But this is working surprisingly well. Because even when I have to aim down, it's still keeping a pretty good bearing on where my hands are. Well, and even though... <laughs> that was actually my second best run I've ever done, so that did make a pretty big difference. So I kind of want to try one more thing. I want to... Oh, and see, I didn't even realize I'm facing the wrong direction. I kind of want to try to go all in and really see how well this can work. So I'm going to try moving the camera almost directly above me and see what happens. So let me play with that, and I'll get back in. I'll try one more level to the top, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on how this is all working. So this just literally cannot make sense of where the camera is. It is just too much of a downward angle, so it's not going to work this way. Okay. So having the camera up high actually worked better than I thought it was going to as far as playing, especially Brookhaven, in the first place. So the camera was up about 92 inches and it was out in front of me about 4 feet. The camera was able to see my hands out in front of me when I reached all the way around when I turned in Brookhaven. As long as my arms were out forward holding the gun in front of me or something, it was able to see everything I was doing. A game like... Job Simulator, it's one of the games where you can't just hold start and move your world back and forth wherever you're standing. It tells you to stand in a certain spot. So with the way this room was set up, I really couldn't get back to where I was supposed to be standing. And then something we noticed, like in games like Apex Construct, a lot of the newer games, they have fail safes to keep you from ever turning the wrong direction. So you end up with something in your face the whole time that would be very distracting if you were trying to play this way. So it's not going to work in every game. In fact, it probably wouldn't work in a fair amount of games these days, especially with the newer games that have been launched. But as far as games like To the Top, Windlands, Brookhaven Experience, probably a lot of wave shooters, I actually would say this is a superior way to play it, especially if you're going to be having people over and trying this the first time because you put someone in Brookhaven and they get scared they turn around no matter what you say they're gonna they're gonna turn they're gonna get turned around and then you have to stop them and turn them back around for them to be able to stay planted on a mat tell them stay on this mat but to be able to turn all the way around and really have it function pretty naturally still is a pretty incredible way to play on a PSVR because it's it's getting past one of its biggest barriers I would say for people you get someone in and they have a good time and they get turned around and their hands are wigging out and they just get frustrated and then they, they don't always want to play anymore. So if you did really want to set this up and try this out for yourself, you need to have something that's going to hold that camera up high and where you're not going to hit it. So if you were to put this on a mic stand that was tall enough somehow to reach, like I said, about 90 inches or so, it would be unlikely that you would still be able to fully turn and function around without reaching out and possibly hitting that mic stand. I would say that if your ceiling is about the right height, you would probably still need one of these camera extension cables that I'll leave a link to, and that would work pretty well because you could put it up on the ceiling and run the wire back out of the way. Just remember, if you run it straight and the wire is hanging down, then you risk hitting the wire, which is even more dangerous because you could probably damage your camera. So is it perfect? No. But is our tracking perfect? No. It's not. I would say that this is definitely a way that you should try and see for yourself what you think. If you're into tweaking this with the settings and you're into trying different things, try this with some games and you might have a good time and you might even find a few games you prefer to play this way. So let me know in the comments what you think and if any of you have tried something like this, what were your thoughts on it too? I'd love to hear. Uh, I think this is something I'll probably play around more with in my spare time just to kind of see what games this could work for. But I definitely had fun doing this today. So I will see you in another game.